Hey everybody, this is Nazicat, and you know, I got out of copper, and I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I, I really want to believe in copper. You know, I mean, I just want to because it's so easy to hoard these copper pennies. You know, now I'm sitting here in front of my computer. What you have here is uh, coinflation.com. And when you click on the pennies, it shows you how to calculate the um, copper pennies and to also calculate the zinc pennies. Okay. And what I didn't realize is that you're converting pounds to grams because of the actual weight of the copper penny, which is 3.11. So, and it gives you the formulas on how to do it, and then it tells you uh, the melt value. Okay, so what I have here is I've calculated uh, copper, um, this top calculator. This is how much copper is if copper was $50 a pound. Okay, so uh, for one 95% uh, copper penny, uh, the name high percent copper would equal this amount, 0.32, all that, okay. The next one down, I had to calculate uh, zinc. I just put zinc at $30 a pound. So this is uh, the number I have uh, calculated. And again, these are based on these formulas, okay. Um, as you can see here on the 95% uh, copper value, right below it says 3.4504. That is actual uh, copper price of today, but I wanted to uh, see if uh, hyperinflation hit, and um, I wanted to just see what would happen. So I put copper price as 50, I put zinc price as 30 per pound, okay? Because I want to give copper a shot, you know? So let's take a look here. So um, in the equation, um, you get those values, you add them together, that gives you the melt value of the copper cent. So on this very bottom calculator, I calculated um, both of those together, the zinc and the 95% uh, copper, and I came out to roughly 0.33, all of that stuff. Now, okay, let's see. Um, um, I know some guy on YouTube, uh, he bought about like 12,500 copper pennies. So I'm going to insert that. Let's say all of those, uh, I'm sorry, he got just the 12,500 pennies. All right, let's say uh, he got actually more. And he did find 12,500 copper pennies. So let's go ahead and enter that in here. Okay, so I'm going to times this. 12,500 equals. So that investment... If he had uh, 12,500 um, copper pennies, that would be $4,199.53. Okay, that sounds great. You know, and I'm sitting there like, man, that's awesome. But the thing I just can't get out of my mind is that Congress doesn't um, allow us to melt the copper. You know, that just irks me because I have no control over that. And how long is copper going uh, uh, to be un unable to be melted? Who knows? Um, I tried looking for reports to see how much copper is mined. Um, a couple ones I saw was that they, uh, they're starting to increase the productions, the mining productions of it. But also, too, China has increased the demand of copper. So, you know, I'm sitting here kind of... Pondering, hmm, should I um, continue to hoard or should I even restart hoarding? Um, I mean, this value looks really good, but only if Congress um, changes the laws. And, you know, as an investor, you, know, you, you want to have control of your investment. This one I have no control over. Okay. Um, as a survivalist, um, like I stated in some of my videos before, would you take copper pennies as a form of bartering? And imagine if someone had 12,500 pennies and that's all he had. And your corn, you priced it at, um, let's say, uh, one ounce. Okay, so you would have to convert all of the copper pennies uh, and they're in pounds. So you have to convert, convert that to ounces. 
Okay, so there's a lot of math involved. And when uh, the shikaka hits the fan, would I accept copper pennies? You know, that's a lot to kind of lug around, so I probably wouldn't. Okay, so in a survivalist mentality, I wouldn't take copper pennies. Um, as an investor, um, I would like to have control over my investments. And if I can't uh, go to the refineries and melt them and, and uh, capitalize on my money, and that's the thing. As an investor, I want to capitalize on my investment. I can't capitalize here only unless Congress changes the laws. Okay? And then as a collector, you know, I don't have space for the copper uh, pennies. So... I mean, for me, I do want to believe in it. You know, I know you guys, you guys are hoarding so much. Go for it if that is your uh, investment philosophy. You know, I'm still trying to see uh, copper in a really good light. Um, but, you know, it's, it's that thing with Congress that gets me. So, I mean, this is awesome. If I had that many copper pennies, um, you know, the melt value is 4000 over $4,000. Yeah, I... I I would definitely go for it. It's just who knows how long Congress is going to uh, keep that law on. Okay. So, um, again, do your due diligence. And uh, uh, for me, sometimes I got to go with the numbers. Uh, and these numbers look great, you know. But the only thing that stops me is Congress. So hopefully this kind of sheds some light on uh, your copper hoarding. I want you guys to, to think about your investment philosophies uh, leave comments and, and just let me know what you think about uh, copper and why are you copper uh, hoarding all of your copper pennies. Uh, let me know. Um, I might be missing something here. You know, I've tried um, uh, trying to get past this Congress thing, but it just irks me as an investor. Okay, and also as a survivalist, let me know in the comments. Would you take copper pennies as a form of bartering or form of trading? Um, you know, and uh, uh, how would you calculate that? I mean, it's it's in grams. So you're calculating from pounds to grams. You know, that's wow. You know, I didn't realize that in terms of uh, copper. So using copper pennies as a trading medium, I mean, you would have to give a lot of copper just to just to buy stuff. So uh, let me know what you think um, as a survivalist. You know, would you take them as an investor? You know, why would you hoard copper pennies? Uh, what is the payoff uh, if Congress doesn't uh, allow you to melt pennies? You know, yeah, worst case scenario, you can just always turn in your money. But you parked your money there. And who knows how long Congress is going to sit there and wait to change the laws. Who knows? To me, that would be a gamble, not really an investment. So if I have to gamble my money, I'd rather go to the casino. I'd rather go to Vegas. You know, I wouldn't gamble on uh, Congress uh, changing the laws. And I wouldn't gamble every, anytime soon. Okay? And then as a collector, um, you know, do you think copper pennies are sexy? <laughs> All right. So uh, leave your comments below. Uh, let me know because um, uh, I, I tried to I, – I, I, I tried. Okay, I tried. Um, like I said, this number looks great. If I had that many copper pennies, my melt value would be 4199 Um But again, I, I just can't get past this uh, Congress thing. You know, I don't know how long they're going to uh, not allow us to melt the pennies and melt the, um, and melt the nickel. So uh, let me know what you think. This is Nazcat again. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. You know... Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think, you know. But I just want to see what you guys are thinking about. Uh, so just uh, um, open up a portal to your brain, leave a comment, or, or tell me the reason why you, you like uh, hoarding copper pennies. All right, thanks, guys.